Good morning. Next is uh, Sono Gashara cross coupling reaction. Sono Gashara coupling reaction. In Sono Gashara coupling reaction, an organic halide is coupled with the terminal alkyne. Organic halide is coupled with the terminal alkyne to give carbon-carbon uh, bond and here we use palladium as catalyst and copper as co-catalyst and in the presence of a base we can carry out this reaction at uh, room temperature. So what is uh, sono gashara coupling reaction? It is the cross coupling of uh, an organic halide with the terminal alkyl in pres uh, terminal alkyl in presence of palladium catalyst and uh, copper co-catalyst and in the presence of a base at uh, room temperature will give carbon carbon bond uh, okay and uh, uh, sono gas uh, coupling reaction it is the coupling of uh, coupling of uh, organic halide organic halide organic halide with terminal alkyne terminal alkyne 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 in presence of uh, in presence of palladium zero catalyst and uh, cu copper as co as co catalyst and in the presence of a uh, and in the presence of a uh, presence of a uh, base at room temperature at room temperature will give will give carbon 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 bonded compounds bonded compound okay this is what is known as uh, uh, sono gashara coupling reaction and uh, this reaction is uh, uh, very important because uh, this reaction is uh, quite feasible because this reaction can be carried out in the presence of a base and at uh, room temperature that is very important we can carry out this reaction at uh, room temperature so let us go through uh, sono gashara coupling reaction so it is a coupling of uh, uh, organic halide so what is that uh, r1x that means uh, this can, r1 can be uh, vinyl group or aryl group so r1 is uh, uh, vinyl or uh, aryl group aryl okay that is reacting with uh, terminal alkyne that means here it is h and here it is triple bond uh, r2 okay okay terminal alkyne okay here it should be uh, ch one side should be ch and triple bond R2 any alkyl group in the presence of uh, palladium zero as catalyst and copper as uh, co-catalyst and uh, uh, presence of base and at uh, room temperature room temperature what we will get uh, we get uh, R1 triple bond uh, R2 this rearrangement this coupling reaction is uh, known as uh, sono gashara coupling reaction now let us go through the mechanism of uh, sono gashara coupling reaction so first step as uh, we have discussed uh, in the previous coupling reaction the first step is the uh, oxidative addition of uh, uh, organic halide that means ox oxidative addition of organic halide into palladium zero compound so we start with PD0, here it is L, L, correct. Now, oxidative addition of uh, organic halide Rx, Rx, okay, or R1X, R1X, R1 can be, what is that, uh, vinyl group or uh, aryl group. Similarly, R2 also can be vinyl group or uh, aryl group. X could be chlorine, bromine, iodine or uh, triplate, okay, that you know. So, this step is known as uh, oxidative addition, oxidative addition okay and uh, oxidative addition what we get uh, we get uh, so we know that uh, the pd is inserting so r1 pd and here it is x and here it is l l now what is happening in the next step look at it here in the next step you can see that uh, okay uh, le uh, uh, let it be uh, here like this now uh, we are starting with uh, another uh, cycle. We are starting with another cycle. Look at here. Um, uh, here it is uh, CuX. 
okay copper halide and copper halide when treated with or uh, coupled with uh, our terminal alkyne ch triple bond r2 this is our alkyne this is copper halide then what we get we get uh, you can see that here we are getting ch and here it is triple bond r2 and here you can see that a pi complex formation with the copper halide this alkyne this alkyne is forming a pi complex cu uh, here you can see that cu x okay cu x cu plus and a x minus okay here is a pi complex formation okay here uh, you can see that there is interaction between this pi bond with uh, CuX, pi bond with uh, CuX, okay, so CuX is uh, uh, treating with our alkyne, so you are getting, first step you are getting a uh, pi complex formation of uh, alkyne with uh, CuX and in the next step you can see that uh, in the presence of a base, here we are using the base, you can see the base is uh, uh, R trialkyl amine, R3 and trialkyl amine, okay, trialkyl amine. Now you can see that this is our base, this is our base. This base, this base removes the proton, removes the proton and uh, what you will get, look at it here, we are, we are getting, uh, we are getting R3 uh, trialkyl NH, NH. Uh, uh, plus and what is that uh, x minus okay you will get this one okay and uh, uh, okay uh, uh, okay that, that will be eliminated okay you can show like this okay uh, let it be like this when it is treated with a base what will be eliminated the base removes this proton and we get uh, r3 then n n here it will become h nh because the lone pair is uh, upsetting this proton nh and here it will become plus and of course here is our x minus this will be formed r3 n this lone pair will upside h so r3 n h plus and x minus now you can see that in the place of h h is substituted with copper in the place of h what will come copper and we get what we get we get a cu what is that a cu cu c triple bond r2 Okay, this complex we are getting, this compound we are getting. Now you can see that, uh, now we can see that uh, uh, this compound uh, will undergo transmethylation and uh, transmethylation. Okay, this step is known as uh, transmethylation, methylation, methylation with uh, uh, palladium 2 complex, transmethylation with the palladium 2 complex. Look at it here. Cu is uh, transmethylation with uh, uh, this compound. This compound is undergoing transmethylation with uh, uh, PD2 complex. What do you mean by transmethylation? This R part, this uh, R part will be will replace X. Okay, then what we get? You can see that. Uh, uh, what we get? We get. Uh, uh, that means uh, this part, uh, this this part, uh, C. Uh, the total part, uh, the C. Uh, this part is replacing with. Uh, uh, X and what we get, we get, uh, we get uh, uh, structure like this. What we get, we get R1 uh, PD and here it is uh, uh, R1 PD and here it is uh, 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 and you get uh, uh, okay, you get uh, uh, triple bond, uh, triple okay, triple bond R2 R2 okay, triple bond R2 and and uh, triple bond r2 and here it is uh, l l okay oh sorry here it is c and triple bond r2 okay uh, triple bond r2 you are getting this co compound and uh, okay uh, you get the, this compound and uh, in the next step what is what is happening in the uh, next step in the next step you can see that uh, uh, in the next step, we can see that uh, uh, there is a, uh, 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 what is that, uh, cis trans isomerization. Okay, cis trans isomerization, and we get, uh, uh, okay. Okay, uh, it will undergo cis trans isomerization, and what we get, we get. Uh, we get uh, R1, R1, here it is PD and here it is uh, uh, C, triple bond uh, R2 and here it is L, L, okay, L, uh, L. 
and uh, in the last step, what is that? Uh, reductive elimination. We get reductive, reductive uh, elimination, elimination. And uh, here, uh, what will be? Uh, what you will get? Uh, R1. That means R1. Uh, okay. Uh, or R1. Uh, uh, C. Uh, C triple bond uh, R2. Okay. R1 C triple bond R2. You are getting a uh, compound like this. Okay. So uh, once again, I am repeating. This is the mechanism of uh, sono gasura coupling reaction. So, so we are starting with uh, palladium zero compound. We will undergo oxidative addition, and we get uh, palladium two complex. This palladium two complex will undergo transmetallation. Will undergo transmetallation. So this cycle is uh, what is that? Uh, uh, palladium catalyzed uh, cycle. Uh, okay, this is uh, copper catalyzed cycle. Okay, this is palladium catalyzed cycle, and this one is uh, copper catalyzed. This is uh, PD PD catalyzed cycle. Catalyzed uh, cycle. Okay, this PD catalyzed cycle, and this is uh, CU uh, catalyzed cycle. Catalyzed uh, cycle. Okay, and uh, what is this cycle? We can start with uh, CUX. CUX. Okay, CUX is interacting with our terminal alkyl HC double bond R, and what will form? There will be uh, coordination between uh, pi bond and uh, CUX. Then in the uh, the base, the base removes the proton, and what you will get? What will be eliminated? R T and H X minus, and in place of this proton, Cu will be attached. Cu C triple bond R two. This will undergo transmetallation. This will undergo transmetallation with the palladium two complex, and uh, during transmetallation, in the place of X, what will come? This uh, this uh, organic part will come. C triple bond R two. Okay, this will undergo cis trans isomerization. Cis trans isomerization, and uh, after that. A reductive elimination, we get uh, uh, this combo. Okay, and uh, uh, look at it here. Uh, we are taking. We can consider another uh, mechanism. Another mechanism for uh, sono gasura coupling reaction. That means uh, uh, copper free uh, sono gasura coupling reaction. Copper free. Without copper, uh, copper free sono gasura coupling reaction. Sono gasura coupling reaction. Okay. Copper free sono gasura coupling reaction. What is uh, copper free uh, sono gasura coupling reaction? Again, the, let us go through the mechanism of uh, copper uh, PD, uh, PD -E -L -L. Okay. Uh, and uh, oxidative addition, oxidative, oxidative uh, addition of uh, R1X. Okay, oxidative addition, oxidative uh, addition. Okay, so what we get? We get uh, uh, R1 uh, PD. Uh, here it is X. Here it is L L. Okay, uh, this is uh, uh, PD2 uh, uh, complex. Now you can see that our uh, our uh, uh, what is that? Uh, our uh, terminal alkyl H C triple bond uh, uh, R R two. This is our terminal alkyl. So now you can see that uh, there is interaction between there is interaction between uh, terminal alkyl and uh, 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 alkyl and PD two complex PD two uh, complex. So what is that? Uh, you can see that uh, R one. Uh, PD X uh, same thing only I am writing L uh, L and you can see that is CH uh, triple bond R2 there is uh, interaction between PD2 plus and uh, PD2 plus and uh, our terminal alkyl terminal alkyl and after that what will happen you can see that uh, you can see that uh, uh, this base now the role of base is coming R3 R3 R3N our base this is our base the base removes the proton, base removes the proton and what will get, uh, what will be eliminated R3NH plus and uh, here you can see that uh, this X is also, uh, the, this X is also removed X minus and uh, hence what we get, uh, we get uh, R1, here it is PD, here it is L, L and uh, what you are getting, this, uh, this bond uh, C, triple bond uh, R2. Okay, here uh, the transmetallation the, uh, uh, process is not very clear, but uh, the, here you can see that there is interaction between PD2 plus and uh, uh, our uh, uh, terminal alkyl and our base R3N removes this proton. 
and what will happen this will join with this one and the x is uh, eliminated so we get uh, r3 nh x minus and uh, this will undergo uh, what is that uh, cis trans isomerization and finally it will change into what is that uh, reductive elimination by reductive reductive elimination elimination will change into uh, r1 uh, c triple bond r2 okay so uh, this is uh, copper free copper free uh, so no gas coupling uh, reaction okay so i hope you uh, understand what is sono gas uh, coupling reaction and uh, we will continue in the next class thank you